Hello, 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 hello. Hello, good afternoon. Um, buenos, buenos uh, tardes, buenos tardes, because it's no more morning. I wanted to welcome everybody in. I'm just here for a quick minute because it's my publishing day. Who would believe a couple of months ago I had no idea <laughs> what a publishing day, well, I knew what it was, but for myself, I didn't know what a publishing day would look like, what it would be like. So today is my pub day. In case you haven't seen the 15,000 posts that I have posted today, my new book, Seeing Past the Storm, released today. This is my publishing day. This is the first day that it's out. It is on Amazon. You can get it on your Kindle. It's on Barnes & Noble, and you can get it on your Nook. It's also on my website purchase a copy. I know this is 31 ways, but all my books are available www.authorandreajoyce.com. I'm so excited. <sighs> Why seeing past the storm? I know you're saying, Andrea, you have written about 31 ways to self-care. You gave us a journal and a guide and with activities. We're still caring for ourselves, and I want you to continue that. If you have not bought a copy of 31 Ways to Self-Care, it's available. Uh, please purchase it. It is so helpful and so, so necessary for us to self-care. We have got to become our priority. I also wrote Five Steps to Overcoming Unforgiveness. It was a short testimony, steps to help you to get past some of the hurt, pain, anger, resentment, bitterness that you felt towards someone or yourself, or in some cases, even God. There are some people who they're as quiet as kept, they're angry at God for whatever reason. It might be because they lost a loved one. They may have lost a job. Anything might have happened and they're out of relationship with God. Or you know how we get mad at someone so we don't talk like we should. We don't pray, we don't read scripture, we don't go to church, we don't seek wise counsel. And so we need to forgive. So with five steps of overcoming unforgiveness, we learned the steps, some of the steps that can help you to release unforgiveness and all those negative emotions so that you can forgive someone, which is so important, especially now with people leaving like this, it, it's, it's time to let go of grudges, which is part of 31 ways of self-care. And it's a, it's funny because one of the steps in 31 ways of self-care is forgiveness and so because of that i wrote the five steps to overcoming unforgiveness because that was an area in my life that i struggled and i suffered because of it i burned bridges because of it bridges were burned because of it toward me and so i needed to forgive i didn't have peace until i learned how to forgive so it was important for me to spotlight a book about forgiveness. And those are just some of the tools and steps I used to help release the negative emotions I was carrying. So as I wrote 31 Ways to Self-Care and Five Steps to Overcoming Unforgiveness, there was a part in 31, self -care, uh, 31 Ways to Self-Care that stuck out to me. The part was cleaning out your closet. If you haven't gotten the book, if you haven't gotten to that page, I don't want to divulge too much, but to let you know that sometimes even when we forgive, we find that we still have areas where we're holding on to residue of things that happen. We're rehearsing things that we were supposed to let go. And as I looked at my closet, I discovered there were some issues and some things that I had not gotten out. And what better way to go towards healing then to talk about it, to write about it. So in step, seeing past the storm. I don't talk about my whole entire life. Um, one day I will write a memoir, I promise you. I can't promise you it's going to be godly. That, that, that part right there, because there's a lot that I've dealt with, a lot I've gone through, a lot that has happened to me, and it's personal and I wasn't in God for some of it. So I can't promise you it's gonna be scripture filled and uh, prayers and all of that. I can't promise you that, but I am gonna write my memoir uh, one day. But this, I'm sharing nine personal testimonies, nine personal struggles, nine personal storms, 
nine personal trials, nine personal valley experiences, nine mountains, whatever you want to call it. These are the storms that disrupted my life. And they are the reason for a lot of decisions, a lot of choices, and the reason why I'm sitting before you today. I had to release in order to continue the healing process. And so I share my personal story with you, my personal life with you, my personal testimonies with you in this book. And I appreciate you purchasing it. I appreciate you reading it in the sense with which it is written and it's to be honest. I'm being transparent. It was not easy writing a book where I'm exposing some things that I've held close, that I've never spoken about, that I never told people about. Um, even though I shared during ministry, even though I shared during my lives, even though I shared with some people that are in my life, I really laid myself bare before you and I honor you purchasing the book to find out who is Andrea Joyce? Who is this chick that's always before us on Facebook or Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok dancing, <laughs> on Snapchat? Who is this girl who, you know, had a production company, has a production company that had the nerve to run into Atlanta from Jersey, claiming Jersey all day? Who is this chick who has three children who she loves and they're the apple of her eye, her heart beats? Who is this chick? Well, if you wanted to know anything about me, for real, this book talks about it. And it's no lies. I promise you it's nothing that I'm like, ooh, let me just make myself look great. No, this is an honest story. This is my honest story. This is my personal life. I'm inviting you in with the hopes that if you're dealing with anything, if you're struggling, if you're in a storm, if you have trials, that you would read it and get relief, that you would read it and be released, that you would be delivered, that you would be set free, that you would be healed. That is my honest prayer. It is available on Amazon, a paperback on Amazon, Kindle, uh, Barnes & Noble paperback, Barnes & Noble Nook. It's available on my website. If you purchase it from my website, www.authorandreajoyce.com, I will autograph it. I will sign it. I will send you a personal message. And what you need to understand about every book that I sign, I pray over. I ask God what he wants me to share, and I share it with you. I pray again when they're in the envelope, and then I mail them off, okay? So welcome to my publishing day. Before I get out of here, because I don't want to hold you too long, I said it would be 10 minutes or less, I just want to share a page with you from the book. <clears throat> and this is from the chapter Abandonment. I'm not going to read all that comes before it. I'm just going to jump right into the story because I got about a minute left. A girl's first love is her father. I was a daddy's girl from birth. I've always been told I look and act just like my father. Maybe that is why I was always trying to be with him. I never wanted to leave his side. One of the first memories of my father was me drinking hot chocolate out of my new McDonald's mug, the one with the smiley face on it. I was four years old. Breakfast was on the table and my parents were laughing. There was music playing, everything was wonderful. One morning, while I was sitting on his lap and drinking out of my mug, I heard a loud noise and my mug went flying. It shattered. I jumped off my father's lap, crying and yelling about my mug, noticing nothing but the broken pieces. I remember gathering the shards. Since that day, I have been trying to put the broken pieces of my life back together. That morning, a storm began rising, and it was a storm that would forever change my life. This storm would become abandonment and the man I loved with all my heart, my first love, my father, would be the cause. So that's just a little bit out of chapter one of my new book, Seeing Past the Storm. It is available on my website, www.authorandreajoyce.com. It's available on Amazon and Kindle, Barnes and Noble and Nook. I pray that it would be a blessing to you. Again, if you get it off my website, I will send you a personal message and sign it. 
God bless you. Have a blessed day. I did it. 10 minutes or less.